Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and this tonight's video is going to be about making a jigsaw puzzle out of a photograph. I kind of stumbled up on this. I've never really used this. I've drawn my own puzzles, but it's an add-on for Corel Draw 11 through 7. It has a seven-day free trial, and then it's only $9.95 if you want to continue using it. Uh, anyway, so we're going to go to I just brought in a random picture of a, that's actually a wine bottle coaster. There's the website, it's hard to read because I imported it. But I've also found out you could Google Jigsaw Puzzle Creator for Corel Draw and it'll come up. Jigsaw Puzzle Maker and two or three other ones will come up. But this is the one I tried tonight. And so all you want to do, and I'm not that computer literate. I had a little bit of trouble downloading it because it put it to a macro. So you go to tools, macros, run macros, and then you got to go find it. And there it is, the Jigsaw Puzzle Maker. Put start, run, continue. Now, and you can change it from 12 pieces to 20 pieces to, you know, way too many pieces. You can change, you know, I haven't really played with it too much, but you can change the slope of it. You can go random, uh, opposite, uniform, uniform, symmetrical. Uh, I haven't gone through all this. But then all you do is just put cre create, and it drew out your puzzle. And you can go up to arrange and ungroup it, and you can see what it did for you. Now, I have made a few puzzles, and I've I actually drawn my own pieces, but I kind of like this. Uh, it'd be really simple and easy. You know, just take a regular uh, matted or glossy photograph, uh, get your piece of cardstock about that size, and then uh, use a spray adhesive from like Hobby Lobby, spray it on your board, and then put down your picture and cover it in some wax paper and put some weights on it, a book or something. And then after that dries, I have found it's better if you spray really light coat of lacquer and maybe even two coats. That's going to protect the photograph because it's going to, you know, the laser is going to cut it out so fast it's not going to burn it, but it's going to leave a little bit of residue where the lacquer is going to protect the photograph from that happening and it'll be easily wiped off. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit, and thank you for watching.